Have you ever looked in the mirror and wished you could turn back the clock on your skin? Or maybe you're wondering if these expensive skin supplements you see all over social media are actually worth the money. A recent meta-analysis covering over a thousand participants found that certain oral supplements can significantly improve skin hydration, elasticity, and even reduce the appearance of wrinkles. But which ones actually work? I'm Dr. Lorena Law, a medical doctor with training in aesthetics, nutritional and integrative medicine. My passion is to empower you with evidence-based information to make the best decisions for your health. Today, we're going to cut through the myths and the marketing to uncover what the science really says about feeding your skin from within. Stay tuned. The world of nutritional supplements can feel like the Wild West. There are endless products promising miraculous results and it's incredibly difficult to separate facts from fiction. When it comes to the skin, the controversy is even more intense. Can a pill you swallow truly affect the health and appearance of your skin? The short answer is yes. So let's explore how they really work. When you ingest specific bioactive compounds, they are absorbed into your bloodstream and can be delivered to the deeper layers of your skin, the dermis. This is a place that standard topical creams often can't reach effectively. The compounds can then provide the building blocks for healthy skin and help protect it from damage. But let's set some realistic expectations. This is isn't an overnight miracle. The research is clear that it takes consistency and time, often several weeks to months, to see measurable results. These supplements are a long-term strategy designed to support your skin's health as part of a holistic approach that must include a healthy diet, sun protection, and good topical skincare routine. So how does all this work biologically? It comes down to two key concepts, bioavailability and absorption. For a supplement to work, your body has to be able to absorb it from your gut and use it. Let's take collagen as an example. You don't just eat collagen peptide and have it magically appear in your skin. Instead, your digestive system breaks it down into smaller pieces. Specific peptides like prolyl hydroxyproline. Clinical studies like the 2021 meta-analysis published in the International Journal of Dermatology confirmed that these specific peptides are absorbed, travel through the blood and accumulate in the skin. Once there, they act as signaling molecules that stimulate your own skin cells, called fibroblasts, to produce more collagen and hyaluronic acid. This is a crucial point. It's not about replacing your collagen, but about stimulating your body to produce more of its own. So what's a realistic timeline? Based on the dozens of studies I've reviewed for this video, you can expect to see initial improvements in things like skin hydration in about four to eight weeks. More significant changes like elasticity and the appearance of fine lines can take around 12 weeks or three months of consistent use. Patience and consistency are everything. A common question I get in my practice is, Dr. Law, do you take supplements for your skin? and recommend them? The short answer is yes, but I only recommend those that are backed by human clinical trials. So let's dive into the top four oral supplements that the research shows can make a real difference. Number one on our list is hydrolyzed collagen. This is perhaps the most well-researched skin supplement available. As we discussed, hydrolyzed collagen is simply collagen that's been broken down into smaller, more easily absorbed peptides. These peptides stimulate your skin's fibroblasts to ramp up collagen production. A landmark meta-analysis of 19 trials found that taking hydrolyzed collagen for 90 days leads to statistically significant improvements in skin hydration, elasticity, and a reduction in wrinkles. The effective dose in most studies ranges from 2.5 to 10 grams per day. Who should consider it? Anyone concerned with the general signs of skin aging, fine lines, wrinkles, and loss of firmness. It's generally very safe, but if you have allergies, be mindful of the source which can be bovine, marine, or chicken. Next up, number two, hyaluronic acid or HA. Many of you know HA as a topical ingredient in serums, but taking it orally is incredibly effective for skin hydration. HA is a molecule that loves water. It's what keeps your skin naturally plump and hydrated. When taken orally, HA is absorbed and increases the skin's own moisture content from the inside. A 12-week double-blind placebo-controlled trial from 2021 showed that subjects taking 120 
17 mg of HA daily had significantly improved skin hydration and a reduction in water loss from the skin surface. They also saw improvements in skin elasticity and wrinkles. The most common dosage used in successful clinical trials is 120 mg per day. This is a fantastic option for people with dry, dehydrated, or rough textured skin. Number three is a fascinating ingredient that many people haven't heard of, ceramides. Ceramides are lipid molecules, essentially fats, that are naturally found in the outermost layer of your skin, the stratum corneum. They make up about 50% of your skin's barrier. Think of them as a mortar between the bricks of your skin cells. When you take ceramides orally, they are absorbed and incorporated in your skin structure, strengthening the barrier from within and preventing water loss. A comprehensive 2022 meta-analysis published in Frontiers in Nutrition analyzed 11 randomized controlled trials and found that oral ceramides resulted in a statistically significant increase in skin hydration and a decrease in transepidermal water loss. That's a measure of how much water evaporates from your skin. The improvement in hydration had a standardized mean difference of 0.77, which is quite an impressive result. Studies have used doses ranging from 0.4 to 30 mg daily, with research showing significant improvements in skin hydration at doses as low as 0.8 mg per day. This is ideal for people with dry, sensitive or barrier compromised skin, conditions like eczema or rosacea where the barrier is weakened. Finally, number 4, polyphenols, specifically flavanols and procyanidins. Polyphenols are plant compounds found in foods like dark chocolate, green tea, grapes, and berries. They're some of the most powerful antioxidants in nature. Flavanols from cacao and procyanidins from grapeseed or pine bark are particularly well studied. These compounds work on multiple levels. They neutralize free radicals, reduce inflammation, protect your collagen and elastin from breaking down, and even improve blood flow to the skin. But here's where it gets really interesting. A 2022 meta-analysis found that polyphenols significantly improve skin moisture content. But a 2025 meta-analysis published in Frontiers in Medicine looked specifically at photo-aging and found that flavanols increase the minimum erythema dose. That's the amount of UV radiation needed to cause skin redness by more than than three times. This means your skin becomes more resilient to sun damage. For procyanithins, studies have used 50 to 300 mg daily. For flavanols from cacao, effective doses range from 200 to 600 mg per day. This is perfect for anyone concerned about photoaging, environmental damage from pollution, or who wants a comprehensive antioxidant protection. It's also a great addition if you already have sun exposure, but remember, it's not a substitute for sun protection. Now, before we talk about practical tips, I want to address something important, carotenoids. You've probably heard about these. They're the colorful antioxidants found in carrots, tomatoes, and leafy greens. Things like beta-carotene, lycopene, and lutein. A comprehensive 2021 systematic review in skin pharmacology and physiology examined carotenoids and their protective effects on skin. The findings were fascinating. Carotenoids do accumulate in your skin and provide powerful antioxidant and photoprotective benefits. They help protect against UV damage, support collagen production, and improve hydration. But here's the key finding. Dietary intake remains the primary and preferred means for carotenoid accumulation. In other words, you're better off getting these from food rather than supplements. Why? When you eat a variety of colorful fruits and vegetables, you get multiple types of carotenoids working together along with fiber, vitamins, and other beneficial compounds. Plus, the research on carotenoid supplements is less clear, with ongoing debates about optimal dosages and potential pro-oxidative effects at high doses. The review emphasizes that carotenoids' bioavailability is significantly enhanced when you consume foods with healthy fats like olive oil, avocado, or nuts. In fact, unsaturated fats can increase carotenoid absorption by two to three times. So my recommendation, focus on eating a rainbow of colorful produce every day. Include dark leafy greens for lutein, tomatoes for lycopene, orange vegetables like carrots and sweet potatoes for beta carotene. And if you eat fish, wild salmon provides astaxanthin, always pair them with a source of healthy fat. Okay, so you're ready to start with supplements. How do you choose a quality product? First, look for third-party testing seals on the label, like USB or NSF. This ensures that what's on the label is actually in the bottle. Second, check that the dosages match what has been shown to be effective in clinical trials. And third, 
choose a reputable manufacturer. I regularly update the list of manufacturers that I recommend for my patients. When you start taking them, remember that consistency is key. Take them every day as recommended. And to recap the timeline, you might feel your skin more hydrated in the first four to eight weeks. By 12 weeks, you should be looking for visible improvements in fine lines, texture, and firmness. This is a marathon, not a sprint. So to sum it up, there is scientific evidence that oral supplements can be a powerful tool for supporting your skin's health from the inside out. Our top four evidence-based supplements are hydrolyzed collagen for structure, hyaluronic acid for hydration, ceramides for barrier function, and polyphenols for a comprehensive antioxidant and photoprotection benefits. And don't forget the power of whole foods especially colorful fruits and vegetables rich in carotenoids consumed with healthy fats. Most importantly, please remember to speak with your own doctor or a qualified healthcare provider before starting any new supplements, especially if you have existing health conditions or are taking other medications. I hope this information has helped you feel more confident in navigating the world of skin supplements. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more evidence-based health content. And I'd love to hear from you. Leave a comment below with your questions or experiences with skin supplements. Thank you for watching.